welcome to my channel in today's uh, lecture session we will continue with our theories related to microeconomics so today we are going to discuss the ricardo's theory of distribution which is also known as the classical theory of uh, distribution so do like share and subscribe my channel it is also known as the classical theory of distribution or the theory of class share Ricardo divided the economy into agriculture sector and the industrial sector and he gave more importance to the agriculture sector further he divided the society or the classes into three types the landlords were the land owners and uh, they gave land to lease to the capitalist farmers and uh, in return they received the rent the capitalist farmers received the profit and uh, they employs laborers for their agriculture production on their uh, farms in return the laborers received the wages so we can say that uh, ricardo also explained how income or uh, national output is distributed among profit wages and rent so we will discuss this theory in detail in this lecture session now before going detail into uh, this theory let's first discuss the assumptions which were taken by ricardo the first one is law of uh, diminishing returns so as the supply of labor increases their marginal and average product will fall savings is only done by the capitalist labor and the capital can be changed as per uh, requirements then he also assumed that profit is necessary which leads to economic growth the factors of production are homogeneous means similar and further he also assumed that all the workers are paid substance wage rate uh, which means the lowest wage rate that is required for the survivor so these were the basic assumptions uh, taken by ricardo for explain explaining his theory here on x axis we have the labor and on y axis is the wages rent and the output the curve apl is the average product of labor that is output per unit of labor and uh, the curve mpl is the marginal product of labor that is change in uh, output with change in labor and the difference of uh, apl and mpl is the rent per unit of labor so in this figure qs is the average product of labor and uh, rs is the marginal product of labor so the difference between qs and rs which is uh, qr is the rent per unit of labor the red shaded region which is uh, pqrt so the red shaded region pqrt is the total rent and uh, similarly the green shaded uh, region below the substance wage rate which is shown in this uh, figure that is wuso represent the total wage bill and the remaining yellow shaded region which is t r u w the yellow shaded region t r u w represents the profit so this figure explains how the total national output or the national income uh, which is op is distributed among rent profit and wages so before uh, closing this lecture session let's uh, also discuss this concept as we know that the capitalists always prefer uh, profit so the capitalist will increase production by increasing the labor supply to os1 from os the wages will also increase to wu1 so in this case wu1 s1 o represents the total wage bill and similarly the rent will also increase to r1 so as a result the profits will fall to zero and hence the capitalist will not invest further at this stage uh, when the economy becomes stationary 
and there will be no new investment so i hope now uh, this theory is clear to you so this was all in today's lecture session so kindly share and subscribe my channel for brief and precise lecture sessions related to economics thank you